Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Hollow Knight. I know I said we were going to start back in the waterway, but looking at this... It seemed like there was only really one more way to go in the hive, and it kind of seems like a waste to not go there. Because we're already here, and if I go up here and then rest at a bench... Yeah, just the odds of us coming back here to actually get this go down. And it would just take more time even if I did come back, so I'm just like, we should... We should resolve this first. There's probably not much left here. So we'll do that, and then I'll cut to when I'm at the other place. And then no time's wasted. Or at least as, as little as possible, hopefully. I wish the tiny ones gave Geo too. I think we really need Geo for a hell of a lot at the moment. There's a hole in the ceiling. Yep. Wonder how we get back up to that. This room's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Whoa. That's a mask fragment if ever I've seen one. You gotta get the big guy to crush it, I guess. I'm right here. Okay, don't actually Oh, that was a thousand geo gone. Not that it really matters. We already bought up the surface door. Alright, so we got back here and we got it open. And now we only need one more. Which would make another massive difference. Because then boss fights would be way easier. And God knows I need all the help I can get. Oh, that's cool. An even better shortcut to get back here. Because I uh, kind of died a couple times on the way back, so I definitely need it. Oh, I think they all respawned because I left the area. And I specifically cleared this place out. Oh well. Let's just uh, break through here real quick and go over. Can I shoot through all of these? Yep, and it breaks them. Sweet. Stay a while and listen. I would like to listen to a bench. But since that doesn't seem possible, I'll check up here first. I don't like whatever that is in the background. Please don't make me fight it. Hive Queen Vespa. Small thing. I know you're kind. If you attempt to resolve your past, then know I am not the queen you seek. It is the pale beings that bear blame for your nature. Though this hive exists within Hollow Nest, we play no part in its attempt at perpetuation. To rail against nature is folly. All things must accept an end. Okay. And that thing in the background doesn't seem to care. Well, she wasn't the Hive Queen we were looking for. Your princess is in another castle. Hive Blood. It was a charm. Golden Nugget of the Hive's precious hardened nectar. Heals the bear's wounds over time, allowing them to regain health without focusing soul. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, if we could just get one more. Notch. Actually, maybe two. The honey trinket looks neat. We're probably gonna try it out sometime. But, uh, we just got a rancid egg. This is the area where we fought the defender guy. That's probably going to give us the boiling water power because it's said to pass, beat the defender or whatever. But we're checking out this area first because there really needs to be a bench. Or cornifer. So we're just going to keep exploring this area before we go try and do anything too serious. Bench. And this is why we wait. We are rewarded. Going down. Ooh, it's even slanted. Now <laughs> there's a bunch of benches down here. Okay, so this should have been... 
Was this where the rancid egg was? It was. So this walk back is much shorter. Is there... Oh, this was that other area that I wanted to look at to go down. Because I walked over here first. So that got destroyed. And we didn't get destroyed, but that guy did. Unfortunately, the halves don't take damage before they get split in half. Okay, we just jumped into a lot of people. And apparently people let her down here like crazy. Because there is just all kinds of junk down here. Wow, you guys are really... I mean, it's not the worst, but they're just really energetic. At least they have a good desire to live. Was this the area to go over to get back up? Alright, so that's just if I had gone left, because we came from this way, I think. And now we can go back this way. You can try and blow me up and fail. And then we're going to get them to blow up. Yeah, I'm starting to think we should just jump over these guys. And then I made a mistake and he killed me. But it's okay, because the bench isn't too far. Yep, I couldn't heal fast enough, even with the charm. I would have tried to hit them, but there were so many around me, it doesn't matter. Got our stuff back, safe to continue, I think. I don't trust these. I don't trust them at all. Especially since someday they'll probably turn into those things. I'll have to prevent that. It's not murder, they're just the worm things. It's fine, right? I'm sure it's fine. I think we get soul stuff for doing that too, but our meter's already full, so... It's basically just because they upset me. Oh. I don't want you touching me as I walk by. So if we go this way... We soar over the water... I see. Why do I not believe that you're my friend? Oh, it's because you hurt me. Fluke, Marm? Oh, you spawn these things. Perfect. And I can get revenge because these things, they gave me hell getting back here. Ooh, you spawn them out quick. We just need to stay on top of them. And remember that they can be thrown out directly towards me, but that's why there's a little bit of a bump right here. Oh, stuff spews out of it when they're coming out of them. They're coming out of the top now. So that way you can plan. And only get hit then. They give you so much stuff to heal though, just hitting this thing. Ooh. Did we really beat it already? Eww. Flute Nest. Which is a living charm born in the gut of a flute marm. Transforms the vengeful spirit spell... Spell? The vengeful spirit spell into a horde of volatile baby flukes. Is the Vengeful Spirit thing that, uh, Command May Wave thing I do? Let me see real quick. Vengeful Spirit. It's a charm that upgrades this. That's pretty cool. And it only costs two. We'll check that out. So, I don't know if that thing- Oh, the water doesn't even hurt you. I don't know if anybody would really consider that a boss, but, uh... I'm gonna say it was, and I'm gonna say we one-shot it. So, uh... It's pretty neat. Would dashing through here kill all these? Yes, that's neat. So, no map? Can I please, please have a map? I need one. Shortcuts, I love those. 
And now we are... I already killed your nest. You guys should stop respawning. I forgot I can't check. Oh, this is that other area right back over here. We... Good, the dash worked. Should be right under where that save point was. Yeah, the bench was right up here. So I do believe there's areas above us we could go before we go to the Defender. Like, this bench links us to the Defender, so I'm not really in any, in any hurry to fight him. Bench is here, so now we can go left. I see. They are everywhere. I'm going to assume that the water is boiling, as all... Notes. There's notes. He was all the way over here. Yes, I know you're going to hit me, but I have iframes and I'm going to hop through you. I want the map. Now I wish I'd come this way first. But I guess it won't really make that much of a difference. I saw that they were down there, I just wanted to check up here first. Actually, if we die, and please tell me this loops back around. Ooh, a rancid egg. And that other stuff cleared it out. They make the worst noises. Yeah, I was to the left. Please map give. I hear you, bro. I also hear overly intense music. For a game that doesn't always have music playing, this is pretty intense. Oh, this gate is locked. I have to kill all these things. That's why. It's one of those murder everythings. Mortal Kombat. Except these enemies are kind of, you know, pufferfish that don't actually try to attack you. I feel like I'm bullying them. Kind of because I just one-sidedly murdered them, but... Murder isn't bullying. It didn't open this? Well, whatever it did. We can buy this. Ho ho, aren't these waterways thrilling? A labyrinth of pipes and tunnels. I couldn't have asked for a better place to employ my talents. It's all so orderly, so considered. Nothing like the crude irregularity of those caverns. Ah, but so sad. My trunk is telling me those fungal wastes are close, and I sense my damp adventure may have reached its end. Guess I'll be calling this map done. It's only 75. I'd wager these pipes and chambers were once used to carry the city's waste. Would have been a horrid stench down here. Thankfully that constant rain has flushed them clean. That is a very good thing. Oh, it updated instantly. This is the, yeah, this is the other side, at the bottom. That's where that other charm was for free. We've gone full circle, and it looks like this whole bottom part of the map's cleaned out now, too. So, it looks like we've gotten everywhere down there. I guess this area in here is the only place we haven't really been. I, I mean, that's the last spot for more areas to be. So I think we've got everything pretty well cleared out now, so that's neat. So let's open this shortcut back down over here. Not just that one, but the one that has to be down here. Oh, that's what that was. We already opened it. Yep. Okay, so now we can pretty safely go back. Oh god, I love maps. Maps are life. Now we can see things. I mean, I know they aren't the most accurate maps ever, but... They're good enough. We can see what we need to see. We know where the rooms are, at least. And those rough outlines, they do enough. Ooh, I pushed them back into me. That's how they attack. If you're in incredibly small spaces, they bounce into the walls when you smack them around. Yeah, those flying guys are more of a problem than these ones. <laughs> the flying guys. I mean, they both fly, but... The Luke... The things. Along the bottom. Is that something that we can only traverse when... No. Okay. So this is just regular water that's been flesh cleaned by the rain. So there's a whole lower area that we can still explore. 
Ah, those noises. Why did it have to be mouth noises? It sounds like they're eating something. This was the other area over here where I was like, oh, it feels like there's water beneath us. There actually was. And this looks destructible, because there's cracks. It was destructible, we saved the grub. So that's another grub down. And we're back to the bench. So next time, we can totally take on the defender guy until we beat him. So that's cool. And then hopefully we'll get that power up, and then there's a few more areas, so we'll probably get more power ups. And then we'll, be just, we'll just be super awesome. We can try out some trinkets. I want to see what that shot... Let's just do that real quick. I want to see what this uh, spirit blast thing looks like. So take that off, which should give us the fluke nest. Uh, they're grenades. Let me let me try this on an enemy. They don't go very far. Is that supposed to? It doesn't seem to do very much damage. Maybe they all have to hit. But at that point, it's like... I don't know. I think that thing's glitched out. I don't. I wouldn't say it's my favorite charm. Or that we're going to use it. The last thing to test out real quick, though, is the Hive Blood. Oh my god, it even changed what our, heart, what our HP looks like. We need to get hit. But they're still alive. If we get hit twice... We can hop up here. Almost. And recharged. I think that the, looks like it takes like a good 15 seconds. Maybe more. Yeah, this really isn't fast healing. I don't know how much of a difference this would make in a boss fight. This, this might be like really cool ambient healing. But this is taking quite a while. In fact, it doesn't even look like the other one's going. Maybe only whenever you attack enemies it regenerates? Right? Ah, but I didn't hit the other one. Let's hit something real quick. No? Does it only restore your most recent hit point? So if you get hit too much, it doesn't? You know, I don't really know if that's worth a 4 slot. Because if you get hit one too many times, then... I mean, I guess it would always keep you at at least 2 health. And that's pretty good, but... That's a really big investment for that. So we're going to stick with our standard setup. Actually, you know what? We won't need these. If we're going to go in and fight the boss, then we need more soul. We need the shell. And we need to heal faster. So, typical boss setup. We can go... <laughs> right, we're at this one. Up and over. And we'll fight that guy again. And again, and again, and again, and again. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.